my darlings. Welcome to my channel. Well, I've been resetting myself for spring. It's my favourite month. It feels like after winter, you come out of hibernation. Winter is all about staying indoors. Spring is all about going outside. Enjoying the garden. Enjoying the flowers. Enjoying the grass. Though it's still very cold here in Ballarat. And we had minus one last night. But the reward is the beautiful day. Blue skies, light fluffy clouds, the sweet smell of baronia, the humming of the bees as they work so hard collecting the pollen. Well, the world would stop without the bees. That's what they tell us. So while I do my spring reset, how do I do that? What do I do? Well, it's easy really. It really is a different way of living when it's spring compared to winter. Because spring, you're outside so much more. Bert and I go places, we go out and take our coffee and have a coffee here and there. And we just love to get out and about when the weather's really good. And it's easy to do here in Ballarat. You have to enjoy the seasons. We have four seasons in a day sometimes here. And as I'm one that always suffers with the seasonal affected disorder, you know, the sad one, I like it when it, I have the sunshine. I was raised in Queensland as a child and that sunshine was always so important. And I'll never forget when we moved down here to Victoria, when my grandfather died, that we didn't see the sun for months. And as a child, I couldn't comprehend it. It was like, where's the sun? Where's the sun? And no, for about three months, it was nothing but grey skies. Absolutely hideous. So now that I'm used to it, I know that winter isn't good for me, but all spring is. So breakfast is outside now, and we sit on our little couple table that Ben gave us when he moved out of home. And we have our breakfast, and we enjoy a lingering coffee playing with Lucy, throwing the ball up and down the path. We have a very quiet life, Bert and I. We try to live in the moment and we try to think kind thoughts of people and be kind to people. I don't like people being mean about other people. It affects me, it affects me greatly. I don't see why you should be nasty when you can be kind. It's To me, it's a no-brainer. Be kind. The sounds of nature are all around us outside. And I've actually had to do this voiceover because our background noise is really a little bit too, too loud. We've got heavy roadworks going on at the moment in the street across from us. And between the heavy machinery and for some reason, whenever I film outside, I hear planes. We've also got a detour and people seem to go to the detour sign and then continue to where they're not allowed to go and consequently come and drive up and around our crescent and then get back to where they started. So it has been a bit challenging to record outside. In your freedom years, you've got to do what you want to do because you've got less time in front of you than you had behind you. And you have to realise that and recognise that. For some people that means travelling, that means driving. And for Bert and I, because we were so busy with four children, it's about doing what we couldn't do when we had the four children. Which for Bert is his love of photography. He's always loved photos, but could never have the time to do it. Now, he's loving, absolutely loving not working with the boys and taking his photos and using his drone. Unfortunately for me, most of the photos I seem to be in. But even while I'm filming this, my darling husband stops, says stop for a photo, takes a click and takes a photo. I've put them in, the, in there. Hey, beautiful. Come here. 
camellias are the best. And what you can't see here is the smell. I've got a Veronia and it smells divine. And while camellias have no smell, Veronias have all the smell in the world. Veronia. All open and smiling at the world. These are the tulips that Anna Marie brought for me as bulbs when it was the deepest of winter. I planted them out. Oh, look who I found. Here comes my darling bird. And they've given me so much joy as I've watched them grow and now flower. We love walking around the garden and we look for the very first sign of disease or the first sign of life and we love it all. I think spring is a time when the garden thanks you for all the care that you've given it over winter because the winter is the busiest time for us in the garden. We're always fertilising and checking and trimming and just making sure everything's going to be okay for the spring. Although, having said that, in the spring I put lots of fertiliser down. The spring's the time that you really start to build the garden up with lots of love and care. Bert put a special solution around the trees for months to prevent leaf curl this year. You have to put it around the base of the trees. And we didn't know that. So that's really helped. We can't see leaf curl and we're hoping that he got it right this year. So what I've also started is a nonsense journal. Now, darlings, have any of you got a nonsense journal? Mm, definitely time for a coffee, I'd say. So a nonsense journal, you just write down whatever is in your head. You don't try to make it make sense. You so just beautiful. treat it as somewhere to dump your thoughts. That's exactly what it is. So here's the flowers I picked. Lovely on the table. Smelling divine. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment. Comment if you do. And thank you so much for watching it. God bless and lots of love from beautiful Ballarat. Lucy and Millie. Lucy with a bow. Millie with her bow. Spring colours. So darlings, remember to do what I do and think happy and be happy.